So Orange, a company normally more famous for their amps, have just released a whole new range of pedals. But why is this? Have they ever done this before? And what are these new pedals like? Well, let's find out all of that in today's video. So interestingly, this isn't the first time Orange have delved into the pedal market. There's been a few various pedals in the past, things like the Kong Presser and the like. However, when you go all the way back to the 70s, they used to have their own line of different pedals, the ones which have been recreated as part of their brand new vintage series of pedals that have just launched today. The new pedals have been designed to be largely the same as the original 70s pedals. However, they've had a few minor tweaks to bring them a bit more up to date to the modern age, most notably including an LED indicator, which is always nice and useful. However, despite being completely rebuilt from the ground up by my chili sauce eating compadre aid Emsley, they do remain very true to the originals. So what do we have in this range then? Well, we have a phaser, we have a sustain, which is basically a compressor, and lastly, we also have a distortion. The phaser feels and sounds like the early 70s. It just has that quintessential sound. And not only that, but it's incredibly simple. It's got a single knob on the front that controls your speed, and you turn that up to whatever you like, and it just gives you that a lovely psychedelic kaleidoscopic swelling sound that you want from a phaser. <laughs> Now the sustain is, to all intents and purposes, a compressor, except it's slightly different to your average one. Yes, it does the same thing, levelling off your volume and helping with the peaks and the troughs. However, what this one does is it's so much smoother. It really rounds out your tone and just gives you a pure sound that you don't get from a standard compressor. It's based on an original, long discontinued pedal that's been desired by quite a few people if you look all down different guitar forums. However, it's back and it's been updated with a differential side chain, which is what helps with that smooth tone. I'm gonna put it to the test by playing something that's a little bit choppy, a bit funky, as well as something a bit more smooth to hear how it reacts in different scenarios. Thank you. 
Lastly, we've got the distortion. Now this is where it's been a bit of a redesign in comparison to the original. It uses an amp circuit rather than the back-to-back -back diode design of the original, but despite this, the sound remains largely the same. It's a classic 70s rock sound. It's got bite and growl and fizz in all of the right places. It's got that filthy psychedelic 70s sound that we all know and love, and it's beautifully simple to use. <laughs> All the pedals have very low power draw, so they're really easy to just insert into your existing pedal chain. You've got a buffered bypass on the distortion and the sustain, and a true bypass on the phaser. They're wonderfully simple, vintage sounding, and they build on a legacy from Orange that really captures the sound of a much loved era in music. So there you have it. Those are the brand new Orange vintage pedals. But what do you guys think though? What do you want to see next from Orange? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this, and we will see you very soon. Mm -hmm.